Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you how I did this honey mask with a broken dusk mask. First step is getting a 3M dust mask. As you can see here, it's broken. No worries, I can still breathe since I'm wearing the mask. Then I'm wrapping uh, the foil and the tape around my face. And with the pen I'm marking the spots where my eyes are, nose. Then I'm cutting it down to two pieces and do some additional cuts so I can lay it flat on the table. Afterwards I'm drawing them on graft foam and then on warbler and as soon as I cut out the warbler I'm uh, preheating my heat gun to 480 degrees which is super high but uh, I have no patience. <laughs> so. Uh, if you want to use around 200 degrees, that's okay as well. Then next step is to connect the pieces together and model them. I model them on my face, but you can also model them uh, on a styro head or something like that, on a wig head. And then it looks super ugly. But yeah, that's the first step, the base. I just draw on uh, some uh, basic shapes like the eyes and everything. Some kind of jawline with uh, the thermoplastic scraps. So it holds uh, together the mask better and I have some place to add additional pieces afterwards. I'm starting to model the nose out of scraps as well. I'm using a lot of scraps just to, just to get rid of them. When the scraps are heated, they're super easy to handle, just like uh, clay, for example. So you can model with them with a knife or anything you have around. Now we're going more and more into detail with uh, additional scraps of Wobbler. Modeling some wrinkles to the face, to the forehead, adding horns. Yeah, that's how it looks at the moment. Not bad for a start. As I said before, we use a lot of scraps in this one. You can still hollow it uh, from the back side in the end if you want to, to uh, get it more lightweight. But since I wanted to get rid of all the scraps, that's okay with me, like that. So then I added the ears. For that I used another thick uh, craft foam. Eva foam. Draw on the details, cut some details in, dremel them out, so sanded them out. And then we cover them in warbler as well. I guess the ears are the most uh, detailed things I did on this mask, so it takes quite some time. As you can see here, I added uh, more layers to the ears, more details, more depth into the ears, so it really looks uh, more real, more realistic. That's how it looks in the end. Pretty good, I, I guess. I'm okay with that. Next step is to add those ears to the mask. For that we take some more Vobla and stick it together. And it will hold after it cooled down. Now I'm modeling some teeth. That's how she looks with teeth. 
afterwards I'm making sure everything holds, everything looks neat, sand down a little so it looks more clean to work with uh, paint afterwards with the primer and everything. Before that I added piercings. I wanted it to have piercings, don't ask me why, it just looks cool. <laughs> So to prime the thing I used uh, XTC 3D, it's mainly used for 3D printing but it's good for that as well. So that is the hardener of the resin 2 component. You need a plastic cup, a um, sponge brush and something to steer the whole thing with. We want it to be liquid so we don't use as much hardener as uh, proposed by um, the company. Uh, I only using around 30% uh, hardener, so it stays uh, liquid more longer, and you can work with it longer. So then I'm adding this two-component resin to the mask. In the end, it gets a really shiny look, and its uh, surface is more cleaner, more flat. So it's nice and awesome to work with later on. Also, don't let your brush and uh, other tools you worked with laying around because it gets hard as well and you won't be able to remove it from a table for example. So just leave it in the uh, plastic cup since you can't use this cup anymore as well. As you can see, it gets super hard. So then we're making sure the filters are protected. You can remove them if you build it like that, but I didn't. Then I'm using primer. In my case, it's uh, Corex White from Citadel. I'm usually uh, working with Chaos Black from Citadel because it's uh, both are super thin, but I prefer the black one because uh, metal uh, paintings are just uh, looking more neat. But since we are uh, looking for a bright finish, a red finish, we're going with white this time. As you can see I decided uh, for a red and a gold finish. After I'm done with the red and the gold I'm adding some um, black layers. Thin, very thin, watery black layers to give in more depth. So it looks more li realistic, kind of. I mean, how realistic can a uh, demon look? But uh, I'm trying. <laughs> add some brown color with a sponge and some water you can make the gold also look more realistic then I want the other parts to be uh, a little dirty as well and then I varnish it with the spray and we're done as soon as it's dry you can already use it or hang it up Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed it please leave a like or a subscription and see you again soon, bye!